Hey guys, hope you're having an absolutely awesome day. My name's Chris and this is Brick in It, and today we're going to be looking at the Batmobile Pursuit of the Joker, set 76119. Okay, so sadly this is actually the Batmobile that I deserve, but not the one I really need right now. Um, because I really, really love the original Batman, uh, the 1989 one with Michael Keaton, um, directed by the one and only Tim Burton. But sadly, I hadn't realised that with the pre-order of the UCS Batmobile, it actually came with a free gift that was only rated apparently as $25.99, but was a mini version, which is basically a mini fig scale, which is the one I really, really wanted, and I didn't get it. So that's kind of why I put my foot down and not bought the UCS Batmobile yet, which I'm definitely going to be getting at some point because I really want that Michael Keaton minifigure. Um, but this is one came out recently and looking at it, it actually looks a lot like the 1989 Batmobile. And actually, I had a look at some speed builds before I bought this one and it looks like it's almost identical from actually how you make it. It's just a couple of the uh, bits on top. But it actually also reminds me of the Batman animated series that came out at the same time and actually both had the Danny Elfman theme tune, which is awesome, absolutely awesome. So I basically I bought this one and I'm actually really, really happy with it. Now, I know Mini Bill Mondays are supposed to be under £20 and this has got an RRP of £24.99, but Amazon actually had it for £16, so I grabbed it really, really quickly. Okay, so looking quickly at the set, you'll see that it actually comes with the Joker and Batman, which is really, really nice. You get two minifigures for the $24.99. Like I said, you can get it in deals, so you could actually get this for a lot cheaper. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it. It's just the Batmobile and the two minifigures. So let's go to a time lapse of me uh, actually putting this thing together. Now I've spiced it up a little bit, so I'm hoping that the, uh, the build's a little bit nicer for you guys, but let me know. And I've also put some funky music on it to try and... Uh, get us in the mood for Batman stuff.
So, here it is. And as you can tell, it does look very much like the the Michael Keaton one, the Tim Burton Batmobile. It even has the same kind of jet propulsion from the back. Um, and it just looks really cool. And actually, what I do like about this one that isn't in the, the 1989 free gift one is the guns on that one are actually stuck up at the top. But with this one, you can actually flip them forwards like so. So they actually kind of look, actually flip out and then they shoot. You get quite a lot of additional extras here as well. So you get a spare headlight, the really cool printed Batman tile, a load of li little different Batman uh, emblems that you can use in multiple places, which is really, really nice. And a spare Batarang, obviously it comes with two Batman has one. Okay, so looking at the minifigures, you've got the Joker here in what looks like a waistcoat, a purple waistcoat with a green uh, shirt underneath. Really, really cool. I like the little pocket watch kind of extension going into his waistcoat. He has a silver stud shooter. I'm not a big fan of stud shooters, but it kind of makes sense. And he has green, uh, green studs that he shoots, and that comes with three of those. He's got a pretty menacing smile, and he also has a dual face, so he also does have a bit of a, a confused look as well that can be used in different occasions. But all in all, pretty cool Batman, and I do like the colour of just normal green for his hair. It's quite nice. Very different to the lime green one we get in the DC minifigures collection. And the Batman here is just a pretty standard Batman. Um, he has the goggles underneath to create the, the white through the uh, cowl. Um, and he does have a dual molded head, one with a smirk on one side and just a serious face on the other. I'm not too keen on the printing for this because the, the legs just have no printing at all, which is just a little bit unfortunate, especially seeing as they put back printing on him where you don't really even see it because of the, uh, the K, but they don't bother putting any on his legs. And his actual, um, his belt is slightly higher up as well, which looks a little bit weird. So I definitely would like to trade this out for a cooler looking Batman for my uh, minifigure in my city. But um, for now he's okay as a placeholder, but yeah, he's not one of the best Batmans that I've seen, in my opinion. Now he does have the shorter ears, and I think that's because it's to allow him to get into the Batmobile pretty easily. So the Batmobile hood pops up like so, front facing doesn't slide, but neither does the minifig scale 1989 one, or the UCS does that. But he's got this kind of retro looking maroon uh, interior, which I really, really like. And he pops in there. It's got some printed tile pieces at the front, one a one by four printed tile piece, which looks really, really cool, and a standard steering wheel. And then when you pop him in, the, hood, the uh, roof does close and it sits quite nicely. And also when you drive the vehicle forwards, the uh, the fire actually moves, which is pretty neat. So what's my verdict on this? I would give this a solid four out of five, if not a five out of five, actually. Um, the downsides to this is probably the Batman minifigure. I'm not too keen on that, but I do think the Joker one is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think the, the Batman one just looks a bit rubbish. Um, the Batmobile is really, really cool. My only, com not complaint, is uh, the two things I'd say that are a bit off are these studs that are visible here by the sides, I think they could easily clean that up by just putting tiles on it. I think it would have looked fine. And it's probably what I'm going to do on mine because it's such a sleek looking vehicle and it has these really odd uh, studs showing here. Uh, I absolutely love the play features. I think the uh, with the fire moving and the fact that you can take it out so that it doesn't have to be on and the pop-up shoot the guns, I think that's really, really cool. So yeah, definite props for that. And I actually think that is better than the... Uh, than the um, than the free gift one. So, sadly, uh, I don't like these bits too much, these wings. I do definitely prefer the ones that came on the, the free gift. So I wish that I put that on this. And to be honest, I really don't understand why Lego brought this out and the other one. I think they should have just made that available for everyone to buy because I definitely would have picked that up. But this is a very, very close second in my opinion. And if you guys were like me and were unlucky not to get the free gift, then I definitely think this one is a great gift. Um, so yeah, 4 out of 5 definitely. I think the, the Batmobile itself may be even a 5 out of 5. In fact, if the free gift one wasn't available, I would have liked this even more. But the fact that I know that one's out there, um, then yeah. But they are so expensive on Bricklink second hand, so I'm not going to be picking one up. And especially seeing as it doesn't even come with any minifigures. So that's my review on the Batmobile. I hope you liked the video. Um, let me know in the comments below if you're going to be getting this or if you've already got it. Um, and maybe let me know if you've got any of the other old Batman or Batmobile sets because I'd love to, to know. 
Um, but please like and subscribe and uh, click the notification bell if you get a chance to do that as well to know when my next updates are coming out. Uh, Wednesday, again, I have a uh, bigger build review. I think it's going to be the passenger chain train this week. Then hopefully a city review if I've managed to get around to doing them. Uh, and my minifig Fridays. So, I'll catch you in the next one.